Hey guys and hey Android users. So if you're, did you ever find an app on your phone that you don't need? I know I have and I did before. I do have a lot of apps that I didn't need before I was rooted. And most of those stuff are called bloatware that come from your, from your um, carrier or the phone itself. And today I'm going to teach you how to remove those bloatware. Um, this phone, since it's rooted, I removed all the bloatware, that all the apps that I don't use. Before, this app used to have something called social in social inbox, I think, social hub, which is basically a unified inbox where you, your messages, your Google accounts, your Facebook I don't, I don't know, I never used it. It's basically stored like you can see you can view everything from there and they used to have Google talk I think I think it's just talk that's what it is I don't really know that about it that much I don't really use it too and yeah I think those are bloatware and it also came with Samsung apps which I don't use because it's very limited and we have the Play Store so why use it and yeah so Today I'm going to show you how to, sorry I, if I was off screen, I didn't really see that. Today I'm going to show you how to remove those bloatware. There are two ways actually. One is with titanium backup. And you have to be rooted, this is the free version, I never get paid versions. And you also need file manager just the second way when you start up the titanium backup it's gonna ask for root access with it's already rooted so it already knows that I am rooted and here it is here's the main titanium backup you may know this already but for those who doesn't here's how you remove them everything here is all your apps and there might be some stuff like here is titanium backup then later on there's another one see there's another titanium backup another one those don't delete those I think titanium backup needs those files those app sub apps actually and here's where you remove them now I don't really have let's try voice recorder and here are the stuff you can either backup freeze the app which is only for Page versions uninstall the app wipe data or run app now you're gonna click uninstall if you don't like it the app and yeah that's basically it for this process I think the file manager is better because it's just there's a lot of stuff you can do with this uh, oh sorry I forgot to tell you guys when you open file manager you go to the very home like you press up many times now I set my home key to my home directory to be the slash the forward the slash that goes like this I don't know what it's called to be that's that's the main Android thing it's basically everything on your Android device and here it is you just go to system I'll show it again here's the main directory the slash and go to the very bottom here's system it's not this sys thing a lot of people mistake that for being the one with the apps but it's here system and you go to the very first one if it's arranged alphabetically which is app then I don't know it with my stock ROM it's just really weird it has this other file the odex file I think that's where it keeps its database and the stuff are just the APK is the main program well here's where you delete all of those bloatware that you don't need just multi select you can use I forgot to tell you can use any file manager here as long as it requires root like let's say I want to delete YouTube I could just press delete which I won't do because I like YouTube and I am posting this video on YouTube obviously 
and yeah so here it is I could delete any anything but be sure to delete the odex file too because that's just it uh, but be careful with your deletes do this at your own re risk sorry I can't pronounce stuff right if you delete one thing that was actually important you're basically your phone's basically ruined and you'll just have to flash a new stock ROM here's the list of apps here's the the first one is the time widget the clock widget app and there it's just a lot there's a lot of apps yeah I suggest you not deleting like let's say calendar here it has calendar provider calendar is the main user interface which is like what you see and calendar provider i think is the one that has all the data like what do you do when when it opens what does it view what like the numbers and stuff i think that's what it is and contacts to contacts provider don't delete those stuff and that's how you remove bloatware also i'm going to add to this video i'm gonna give you guys a bonus thing me i don't really like the other ringtones on my phone so you go to system 2 then media then go to the very top it says audio and that's basically where all the stuff are saved Alarms, I only have one alarm because I delete the others that I don't like. Notifications, I don't like the others. Ringtone, you know, the basic one. Don't delete UI because those are really useful. It con it It's the sounds like camera click, charge when you connect your charger, when you press a button on the keyboard. And I'm also going to add how you delete um delete stuff that are, are not needed for me i don't need the stock wallpaper but it still remains there if i factory reset but it's located here from the system folder go to csc com data that's where the default app is and there's another one here which says wallpaper and that's where it is you can delete it if you want if you don't like the stock wallpapers and there's something weird about this phone there's this folder this one it says VT I don't know what it stands for it's in system etc etc I think that's what it's called I, I know it's I don't I, I think it's what it stands for then every time I factory reset my phone there's always videos here two videos and one no I mean two pictures and one video there's just short short videos that I don't really need so I deleted them then there's another one in from your home folder go to data then another VT folder then yes yeah, there I don't really get that so there I taught you how to remove bloatware hope this video helps if it helped click the click the subscribe button above and the like button below and thanks for watching.